Hey guys, LEGO Star Wars 888 here, back with another LEGO Star Wars review. This time we're doing a review on LEGO Star Wars 7150, TIE Fighter and White Man. So, first off, we'll start with the mini figures. So, you get Darth Vader, obviously, as soon as you get his TIE Fighter. So, it's pretty easy. Same Darth Vader that came in Final Duel 1. So, we've got his red lightsaber with chrome lightsaber hilt. Uh, I think his head might have changed ever so slightly. Let's try and show you the head. I don't know, his head I think slightly changed with the scars and everything. But there he is, he still comes with his black cape. <laughs> As usual, let's put his helmet back on so I don't lose his helmet. So that's the first minifigure, Darth Vader. Second minifigure is a Wyland pilot. I think he was named. Dutch Vander, or something like that, Dutch Vander, I believe it is. So, it comes with like this headset piece that comes on his head, built in, so it looks like he's, look, he's like ready to mic and talk to anybody that he needs to. Comes with an orange torso and uh, trousers, which comes with this pad that looks quite like he, how he does in the uh, films. It's only one side, it's only inside, it's just plain orange. So, like many figures. His headpiece is quite detailed as well, his helmet. So, it's quite it's a look on his helmet there. And just comes with like black gloves. So, that's the second minifigure. And the last minifigure is an Asterix Troid, a red one. I think it's R5D4. Or R4P17. I don't know if R4P17 is what it's called. I always wanted to know if, it's, if this was the same name as well. I just know it's a red astronaut Freud. I think it's R5D4, but not entirely sure. So I'll just call it a red astronaut Freud. So that's the mini figures. So we'll move on to Darth Vader's TIE Fighter, or his TIE Advance, as it uh, should be known as. So to get Darth Vader in, instead of lifting up this front piece like you do in the TIE Fighter in the last you had made, you lift up this piece here to reveal his cockpit and his seating area for Darth Vader. So you take off Darth Vader's lightsaber, take off his lightsaber, lift his arms up as usual, put his legs into a seating position, lift his cape up so it's like in a fine position sort of thing, and you just I lift up the tie fighter so you can see. There's his cockpit in there, you just sit Darth Vader down in there, like so. so there's Darth Vader in his TIE Fighter there, and you, he's got his controls and everything, just like the other TIE Fighter did. And you just shut the top of the TIE Fighter, or his TIE Advance. It's called TIE Fighter for this set, so I've just got the TIE Fighter. It's quite detailed, you can tell it's different compared to any ordinary TIE Fighter. Instead of it being quite high, the wings, it's quite wide instead. It's like it's Darth Vader. This one's got blue pieces, but in the newer version of this set, it's uh, like the one that came out in 2008 or 9, yeah, it's just like black pieces instead. But anyway, it's quite cool. There's the back view of his TIE Fighter. And again, back to the front. So, it's quite a big set, because you don't just get the TIE Fighter. So, we'll move on to the next. Uh, part of the set to get the Y wing. So just put this to one side and bring in the Y wing. So the Y wing is quite big. It, this is the first version of the Y wing. They brought out one in 2005, 2006, for a newer version, and they brought out one in 2009 for the Clone Wars version. So this is the first ever Y wing they released. It's a bit dusty, so just try and get rid of things. <laughs> so it comes with like this. Uh, cannon which spins 360 degrees all the way around. Just leave it like that. You lift up the front uh, piece to reveal Dutch Bander or the Y Wing Pilot's cockpit, whichever you want to call it. So just put that down a sec. Obviously, lift up the Y Wing Pilot's arms. Uh, I've gone Dutch Bander because that's what it says in the Lego Star Wars Visual Dictionary. Dutch Bander, put him in there, but you don't have to sit him up. Oops. So just do that. 
Daniel up, just sit him up, he'd lie him down, because his head would get caught, so he'd lie him down, like that, then he'd move the controls towards his hands, so his little knees there, his controls, and then, I don't know if you can see him there, if I can, he's got his own controls in there, right here, so you can see his target, quite hard for me to do because it's such a big set. That's that, and you close the top piece, if you can. Hang on, I'll move him a slightly bit forward and put him lying down. There we go. There. So there. Just lie down in his Y wing. Turn the cannon around. Can you take the red astromech droid? This one right here. Then you just place him in this back piece right here. Him down. Can. There we go. Now some droids in there. Now if you just lift this up, just so I can show you better, it's quite difficult. There, there's the piece right here. Right here. And you can lift it out into the storage box. If you saw uh, weapons or whatever, that just goes back in there. You can see the cannons in the way, but right there. Then just behind the astronaut droid is a little storage container again. Which we're going to fall apart now. A little storage container, and then in there you can store other weapons, blasters, or whatever. Put that back on. Down, store weapons or whatever in there. It's quite a good set, it's pretty big. I think there's about 700 pieces, 500, between 5 and 700 pieces for the Y Wing and the uh, TIE Fighter all together. This set cost me £45 for both the Y Wing and the TIE Fighter box instructions. So it's a pretty big set. I think it's the only ever set which released more than one starship of this size. I know they've released the Naboo Starfighter with like Bush Droid and then Sofa Joy Starfighter with Bush Droid but these are both pretty huge sets, the Y Wing the Y Wing and the TIE Fighter. I thought it's a TIE Fighter, TIE Fans. Let's try and get them both into shot. There we go. Comes with both of them. The Y Wing and the TIE Advance or TIE Fighter I should say by the way in the box. Let's move on to the box itself since we've done the review on both the Y Wings and that is my fighter. No, that's the Y Wing. So, move on to the box. The box is pretty damn big. So, about the box down there. So, there's the front of the box. Lego system says 7150. And then the bottom says ages 8 to 12. And TIE Fighter and Y Wing. The name of the set. I think this set was released in two different boxes one was 7152 and I think it was one 7252 or something like that. It was released, I think this was released in 2003, no, 2002, 2003, 2004, and different numbers. Well, 7152 has got the same artwork, like front box as this, and 7252, I think this has exclusive Toys R Us, came in a slightly different packaging. They're all three of them the same sets, but just re released. So that's the front of the box, it's pretty huge, and it's got the old classic Lego Star Wars, sort of Star Wars logo with all the different Luke, Leia, R2D2, Han Solo, Vader, Stormtrooper, and Boba Fett. Then we went to the side of the box, this side, and it shows you, shows you um, the Dutch Vander, Astromech Droid, and Darth Vader. Then Darth Vader and his TIE Fighter then right here is a bit of Darth Vader trying to creep out the top of his TIE Fighter. Uh, on the top of the box it just has, again, a big blue streak of that same Lego system and Star Wars. On this side, has some more shots, this time of Dutch Vander or the Y-Wing pilot and the Y-Wing. Then the TIE Fighter, Vader, Dutch Vander, 
and it's dried on the wiring but it's not it's a bit difficult to see because of the, the label on the top I'm not taking it off it's going to damage the box please move on on the bottom of the box again it says tie fighter and wiring set 7150 and like what you always get the barcode and some little bits of information pop up and there's no do and on the back of the box and if we move back down a bit on the back of the box it shows the sets that's broken down the fader and the expander trying to fix the star chips, the wiring the tie fighters and that's what drives standing in front of that fader there. Then there's alternate sets you can make, which they did with the other sets you can make like different versions of the sets but I think it's best just to keep them as they are for wiring the tie fighters because it is a, a rare set. I mean there is three different versions but it's still a rare set because quite old now. I think it's set 2002, but it might be an early, it could be 2000, I'm not entirely sure. So it's between, I'd say it's between 99, I don't think it's one of the first, it's between 99 and 2002. Hang on, I'll just quickly check. Get the old trusty Lego Style Special Dictionary, so I'm sure we'll have plenty of sets to help. Yeah, the set came out in 99. That was one that wasn't charging to the original set. I don't know if you can see there. Um, it's right there. 7150 TIE Fighter and Y Wing. It goes in front of the box and then up the top there, 99. So it's 1999. So that's when it came out in 99. So it's 11 year old set. It's still in good condition. It cost me £45. It's a good price. Seeing as on the box instructions and the sets are all pieces and everything so like I said if you can find it I highly recommend you buy the set because it's quite good and it's a famous part of episode 4 where Darth Vader is trying to chase down the Y wings after they kill Death Star so it's been Lego Star Wars 888 making a review on Lego Star Wars set 7150 the TIE Fighter and Y wing thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos please comment like and subscribe for me and bye for now